Hi there, and welcome to the Monthly Skinny, where we check out the recent real estate numbers from the Twin Cities market area to illustrate where we've been, where we are, and where we're headed. I'm Steve Havig, your 2009 president of the Minneapolis Area Association of Realtors. Thankfully, buyers have braved the elements to keep things hot throughout February, even with that last blast of winter that was thrown at us. Pending sales were up in February, posting 3,314 signed purchase agreements. This is an increase of 7.4% from a year ago and the ninth consecutive month with a year-over-year increase. The trend is now official. Buyers recognize the opportunities and are coming back into the market. We do have to keep in mind that lender-mediated foreclosures and short sales comprised 60.5% of February pending sales. This means a tough environment for traditional sellers in the short term, but is good news in the long term. It is important for these lender-mediated homes to sell through the market cycle as quickly as possible for the market to return to normal. With historically low interest rates and the Housing Affordability Index for lender-mediated homes sitting at a healthy 239, it is safe to say that these properties will continue to be sold quickly. A housing affordability index of 239 means the median income in the Twin Cities is 239% of what it takes to qualify for a median-priced home. In contrast, the affordability index for traditional properties is at 158, and that's the best it's been since 2004. The oversupply of homes in the Twin Cities market is finally being brought under control. The number of new listings for the month of February was 6,648, down 19.4% over last February. This is also the 14th month out of the last 15 with a year-over-year decrease. The total inventory is 25,825 units, and this is down 4,017 from this time last year. The real dark horse, obviously, is the recession. Job losses and weakened consumer confidence are at one end discouraging home sales, while low mortgage rates, high affordability, and the new $8,000 federal tax credit for first-time home buyers are at the other end bringing sales up. So far, the recession hasn't been able to keep consumers away from purchasing homes. Even with all the economic uncertainties going around, there are still plenty of reasons for buyers to get out there. Well, that's it for this month. Check back next month for the latest Twin Cities market information from your Minneapolis Area Association of Realtors. And I'm cool with that.